So I uh, just wanted to do a bit of an update actually, it's been quite a few years since I've posted any videos. Um, this is our chicken tractor which uh, many of you will have seen the build videos and then the finished product. Uh, quite a bit has changed for us as a family in the last five years since I last posted uh, and a bit's changed for the tractor too. Uh, as a family we have expanded, there's now a couple of young'uns. Um, and we've also had to move into town to a much smaller yard. We've now only got 750 odd square meters, a uh, much smaller yard. So the chicken tractor has had to change as well. One of the key things, and you'll probably be able to see that here, is we no longer move it. Um, we keep it still now. It was just proving too heavy, to be honest. Um, and we've figured out a method that works quite well for us. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of straw in the bottom of the uh, run area. Um, what we do, um, we just throw a full bale, square bale of hay or straw or whatever I can find that's cheap in there and I cut one of the strings and just leave it there. Um, the chickens seem to love getting in there, digging around in it, um, pulling it all apart and then spreading it and scratching through it. Uh, I leave it for about a month. After a month it has become some partially decomposted, sorry, partially composted, um, uh, I guess essentially compost, uh, full of chicken poo and all the various other bits and pieces that end up in the coop. Um, and I, sorry about the noise, as I said, we're living in town, there's an aeroplane going over the top. Um, so I rake that all up uh, and use that for our garden. Uh, we do get the occasional tomato plant and whatnot growing out of it, but we can get over that. Um, but it does... Oh, and then obviously I put another bale in. So it's a really great way for us to make a, a version of compost slash mulch. Uh, and the girls seem to love digging through the straw. Uh, a couple of other significant changes. The feeder now um, is a PVC pipe. I think I might have shown you this last time just a PVC pipe with two end caps on it uh, hanging on a chain and the uh, you just use the hole saw to cut holes in the top of it and uh, the food sorry there you go the food is just inside they can pack in there and grab the food um, another significant change this is their waterer now uh, so again PVC pipe I made it myself uh, a screw on end cap on the end so that I can release the water if I like and there's a couple of uh, little uh, water nipples on the bottom there. The girls just have to reach up and peck at those and the water comes out. Uh, and fill it up with a garden hose with an ant cap on the end here. So we just pop that off, connect the hose to it and turn the hose on and fill it up. Uh, it works fantastically, stays nice and cool, contains a lot of water too so if we have to go away for a day or two there's no issue at all. The girls took to the uh, drinking from those nipples quite quickly. There wasn't an issue at all. Um, being that I used completely recycled materials to make it, you can see it has worn away a little bit, has degraded, and I'll have to replace this beam here. Uh, I did paint it, but that hasn't lasted. Um, but honestly, overall, it's running really well. Uh, the girls are pretty keen to be let out. They're all waiting at the door there. Um, so I'm really happy with it. Uh, for us as a family, we certainly still have goals of uh, creating for ourselves I guess a, a garden that we can eat from, um, but for now, uh, to be honest, it's more focused on the kids. Um, we're working on the front yard, we'll turn that into, um, well, I'll tell you more about the plans at some stage, but we're working at turning that into a productive space. Uh, so for now, this is just an update on the chickens, uh, and what used to be a chicken tractor and is now a um, standalone chicken coop. I'll see if I can show you a bit more here. Um, so that's it there. Still functions really well. Uh, and as you can see, the back door there has needed some repair as well. Still quite happy to collect our eggs and whatnot from that as well. Uh, anyhow, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Um, and I think I'm supposed to say something about liking and subscribing and whatnot nowadays. But anyhow, um, I will come back with some more updates in the next months about where we're at and what we're planning.